Sunny Jan Fred in Rittenhouse Square. I've already had Tracy Peel look at my booty. Yeah? Yes. I like my booty. I can't see it much because it's back there. Well, sure. But I like you. it. And Chanel and Mike, you know this happens all the time. I wear my fit flops. Now, these things are supposed to make my booty whatever and my right. calves whatever. I, I love them. They're sparkly. They haven't done a darn thing for my body. Tracy Peel, you're not surprised. No, I'm not surprised because your booty's fine. Thank you, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> Um, it's not about my booty. It's about the shoes. Right. But the shoes, you don't think that they're really helping anyone as much as the commercial would like us to believe. Uh, definitely. I think what you have to understand, it's really about how you move. That's really the best way. So you might get a shoe like the Shape Up or you might get the Reflex. And, you know, it's almost like a placebo, uh, like wearing high heels. You know, your calves do get better from wearing high heels, but I don't see people saying go buy high heels to train yourself to get better calves or, or better muscles that way. Okay, so what you just said is you could get better calves by walking around in these things, but you don't think that people should, and why is that? Because it's really inefficient. You know, you, you try to move efficiently, and wearing something like that kind of puts you in a situation where you're not moving as efficient as you could. And so, therefore, I think that those shoes kind of give you a little bit more, a little more hype behind them than, than what actually happens. Okay, and so the thing is, I remember years ago there was this thing that was called MBTs, and it was the same kind of thing, more of a shape, and they hurt my feet. Like, right. maybe I felt like I was doing something, but it, it gave me physical pain. Do you think that these shoes could lead to injury? Um, I think that with a combination of, of not understanding the best way to move could lead you perhaps to, to an injury situation. You know, the best thing to do is to get an analysis. You know, you're going to come see me. Yeah, we're gonna go do to it Tracy again. Peel International. <laughs> but seriously, so here's the thing. Let's say that I've never worked out before, okay? okay. Let's say I just had a baby and I, don't, I can't afford a gym. Mm -hmm. And I think I'll get started with these. Am I going to get any results with these things over the course of six weeks? I would say that it, it may affect your body in a little way, um, but I think, once again, it might be in a kind of an inefficient way, you know. Uh, I don't think you're necessarily going to get an injury, per se, but the best thing would be to go to a medical professional, get an evaluation, you know, maybe start going to the gym, uh, go out and try to take don't a run. Don't tell us that we have to go to the gym. <laughs> Do you think it's better for people just to walk in regular shoes, then? Yes, I would say a regular shoe, something that's not... Um, you know, can it a little bit like this shoe, you know, thick sole, that kind of thing would probably be better for you. And here's the thing. I know that you deal with elite runners all around the world, but let's say I'm not an elite runner because, Tracy, I'm not an elite runner. <laughs> Do you think that I should be buying, like, a flat runner-type shoe to walk around the neighborhood as opposed to one of these, like, ASIC or Nike or one of those traditional-looking things? I, I think it should be a progression. So if you haven't done anything, maybe get a neutral shoe that's going to be fit you a little bit better, a little more cushioning, and then you can kind of win yourself down to a shoe that has less less in it. Okay. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. And just so you guys know, what he does is he works with runners, and he looks at how they're moving, and he makes them more efficient, which means better runners. And um, you did say that my booty's looking okay, right? Your booty is fantastic. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. And I didn't even pay him. Yeah. You know, uh, I'm still going to try him. Yeah, well, didn't you say that you had a, you talked with a podiatrist or something and said it can't hurt, right? I mean, it can't what, do... No, what, with the MBTs, what the Temple School of Podiatry said, that if you have back issues, they like the way that it helps you rock or stand. Mm -hmm. They said it doesn't do anything to make your booty look better. Again, like, all of the experts agree, it sounds like, that just getting a regular pair of shoes and walking down the street is going to be better than thinking that one of these shoes is going to help you while you sit at your desk and Indeed. put your... Oh, I got you. That makes sense. Yeah. I don't care about my yes. booty. Uh, that but makes sense. I've heard a lot of other people say that they're really good for exercising. Hmm. So I'm going to try it. Thank